Okay, this shows the um, placing of the hole for the retarder. A little clump of brush bristles. And here we go up and down here. Just place it right in between the ties and drill your hole in there. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, now here's some of the details on making the retarder. And I have a piece of dowel here I got from Walmart. And this one is about 730 seconds in diameter. And it will fit perfectly inside this straw, which I'm going to use as a sleeve to help reduce the friction. And this straw is just slightly bigger than the dowel, uh, about um, 1564. And I also need a drill bit that is about um, that the straw will fit in so 15 64ths or a one quarter inch drill bit um, to make our guide hole and the first thing we have to do is we have to affix the bristle to the top of the dowel and our dowel needs to be long enough so it can go through our train table and also the track it's going to be going up and down it's going to top out right in there somewhere about a um, eighth of an inch or so below the surface just so we have enough bristle there to um, slow the train down and I'm going to use this piece of wood as a holder to hold that in place while we mix up our epoxy and for epoxy I use JB Weld quick and I'm going to put a little dab of each we got a hardener and we got a steel and we put them on there and this stuff sets up real quick real fast um, the quick one the other JB Weld takes about 24 hours but this one um, sets up real real fast so here we are here we'll mix it up and I think what I'm going to do here is put a, a little tape around so we don't um, slop increase the diameter of our retarder at all so there we go Okay, and then we'll put our little dab of this, we'll get a dab of this JB Weld in there. And we'll be taking the scotch tape off when we're done, but... And then we'll take our bristle, and I'm using a nylon, and we'll get a clump here. This is going to be our grass retarder. Cut it flush with our scissors. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, don't worry if these are too long because we're going to be trimming them shorter. Um, we want to get uh, we want to get them all inside the straw, so we're just gonna get a little clump together in our fingers, and we're gonna get them inside here, and then we're gonna be letting it set up. So a few of them slopped out, but. get them in there tamp them down a little bit we'll be trimming it up later but the idea is to get them into the epoxy and I don't think you want to use hair I think you want to go with a nylon bristle now we're gonna we're gonna let this set up I'm gonna bring them together here so it's kind of a compact group and if you use a yellow it'll maybe look more like uh, real grass so here's our uh, making our retarder, uh, nylon bristle, polyester, uh, we're going to let that set in our holder and move on to the next task. Okay, here is an overview of the construction of the retarding mechanism for my hump yard. 
and um, I'm going to draw it out on a piece of paper and then show you with some pieces of wood. So first we start out with the um, side view of the top of your train table or bench work. Here we have our board, uh, something like this. And the track would be on top like this. And you can see I already have my hole drilled. And that's the hole for the up and down mechanism. So here we have our hole and we're going to be lining it with a straw which just happens to be just perfect a perfect sleeve for our mechanism that holds the brushes so our objective is to be able to raise and lower the rod the proper amount so that it can slow down our rolling stock and um, here's our rail and then this would be the boxcar or whatever right here and what we're trying to do is create some friction for the axles so when the brush is extended It'll rub against our axles and slow down the car. And then when it's retracted, um, it could roll easily. And the reason for that is because each car seems to travel at a different rate when it rolls down off the hump. And um, if it's going real slow, you don't want this extended because you want the car to travel to the other cars. Um, however, if it's moving really fast, you might want to have this extended all the way up so it'll slow the car more so it doesn't crash into the other cars that are parked there. And it just so happened that a 1564 drill bit uh, was just perfect for our hole. And uh, the straw is a sleeve that reduces the friction. Now that piece, this one piece is a little bit too short. We want it to extend all the way, all the way through. So I'll just try to pick it at the right size here. There we go. <clears throat> and our retarder mechanism is just going to fit right in there and that'll be glued in so when it's all the way up it extends far enough to be able to slow the car down and then when it's down it doesn't offer any resistance and uh, there's my stop. I just use a piece of an eye, eye um, screw. And then when I have my lever attached, this, the movement is like this. Now to keep this space like this, I just use a couple smaller blocks of wood. And these are 3 8 inch long. And then I have my holder, which goes like this. Now these, these big screws, you don't want to screw them through a little bitty piece, so I just um, offset them a little bit. So they'll, I offset them like that. And then um, just the pressure of screwing these screws in is enough to hold everything in. You could drill a pilot here. This is pretty soft wood. This is pine. So we'll just get one side in here right and our pressure is going to um, keep this keep these the in place. Use. And there's the retarder. There you see it coming all the way up and down. Uh, 
All right, uh, we're ready to put install our retarder. And one of the first things we want to do is select our location. And I've got it near the top of the slope, uh, way up, way up the yard, so it can slow down the cars that are rolling down, yet allow enough motion so it can roll all the way to the end. Well, it didn't seem like the glue was going to hold it, so I mixed up a little JB Weld epoxy. And then that little area there where a little bit of the ballast came out, I got a spot where I can get some contact between the straw and the epoxy. I think it's pretty important that we get this straw in here, otherwise we're going to have some rough edges there. And the glue wasn't holding holding it very good in this part either so we'll just go ahead and put a little JB weld on everything I know that's gonna work okay we'll have to let that set for about four hours they want it flush with the top this is the part that's gonna go underneath okay here we are under the train table and here's where our straw is coming through right here where my finger is and here is our mechanism that we're going to be putting in there our, our brush our retarder it's all put together and ready to go um, here's our mechanism for raising and lowering just a rod drill the hole and then use some epoxy here uh, to adhere the rod to the lever and this this is what raises and lowers our retarder so we're going to pretty much we're going to do exactly what we did on the other one first we want to get our brush through the straw right up through the straw there and then we're going to get our spacer I guess this can be either way here this way if I do it I guess I'll have to do it like this because that piece of woods in the way so here's our little spacer and then we want it perpendicular so jiggle it around in there a little bit make sure we got it just perfect and we take our screwdriver and screw it in screw it into the plywood Get one side in, clamp it down. There we go, just enough to hold it. And then we can put our other, get our other piece in there. There we go. That makes sure everything moves freely. And then we're going to get that one screwed in. them down but we don't want to crack our we don't want to crack our block here and then I already had this pre-drilled hole here where our holder goes there we go there there we go up and down very little friction I added some bristles towards the end of the track to slow the cars down a little more and to assure that they wouldn't run off the end. <clears throat> I got a bunch of new box cars and they roll really well and so the just having the one retarder was not enough and then um, anyway so I, I drilled some holes just into the plywood about a three-eighths of an inch and put some more bristles in there and then I glued them in with some super glue and then I did some trimming because it was a little bit too much resistance 
and uh, so here I've just uh, used a set of trucks as a guide and then uh, just took a little scissors and did a little bit of trial and error uh, until I could get it so it looked like it was going to work. <laughs> 